Facebook debut. Boom mo fo. Hey. <laughs> Boom mo fo is how we start. How are you doing, America? Boom mo fo. You know why? Because it's a football Friday. Boom mo fo. Thing, if there's one thing this country loves, Thomas, that's the redoubtable one himself, Thomas Jazo, by the way, for those of you scoring at home. If there's one thing America loves, Thomas, it is football. It is their passion. And you know what happens on Friday. It starts on Friday night. They made a movie about it, for Christ's sake. Friday Night Lights. The high school football game just got finished over here. Co- I think it was Cosby. Yeah, one. Cosby lost by 50 50, again. yes, 49 to nothing. Did did they really? 49 to nothing. <laughs> I was kidding. Was Man, those poor kids. Jeez. And a complete bum blasting. I mean, terrible. Um, but it starts <clears> up there. <throat> then Right now, we are currently watching the first Donnie of the weekend in college football. Right now, you got number 10, undefeated Utah, at number 19, Oregon State. Oregon State in the second quarter has a 7 0 lead. This has got Donald J. Brookenstein all over Technically, this is it. the second Donnie because it is. NC State just lost to Louisville 13 times. Yeah, and they were trying. Louisville's undefeated. They're now 5 0. Louisville might be ranked come Monday, boys and girls. Um, so, yeah, this is the. Well, by the way, welcome, Facebook fans, Facebook lovers. Facebook. You haven't introduced yourself. I have not. Well,. Do I need an introduction? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, and, no, it's, and it's not this guy. You knows. sure as hell ain't that guy. Do I need an introduction? Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, since we had, um, uh, I have so oh, many names. Over the past year, we've picked up 10 followers. We so have. I think we probably need to introduce we yourself. We do. We should. Um, I have so many names. Most of them are not fit for the air. Um, so just disgruntled women. Anyway, um, but uh, one of them being my wife. <laughs> so uh, I am the highly questionable one, RJ Miliaccio. D-bag Welcome to... Uh, d- 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 and that's just the D section. There's 25 more letters you're no, missing. No, okay? you're right. You're right. point is... <laughs> There's at least two names for every letter in the alphabet. More than two. She's creative. X? X is different. That's a tough one. I don't know. Let's get back to you on that one. Anyway, uh, welcome to I Don't Disagree. That is the sports talk show... Of non-competitive bitter banter, uh, New York fan base, Boston fan base. In case the jerseys didn't give it away, um, and we are here on a football Friday. We're trying to make this a regular thing. We do two shows a week. It usually we we can never we usually lock down Tuesday nights pretty good, but that other day just Ooh. floats around. It floats around. Sometimes it's Thursday, sometimes it's Friday. One time it was a Saturday night. It, we're trying to make it a football Friday. It's, it, it's uh, very spontaneous. It kind of is. Okay, there's not, which is not a bad thing. There's a schedule, but, yeah. but it's not really a schedule. Yeah, I mean, and you know, whenever we feel like it, we send a text that says, "You want to do IDD tonight?" Yeah. And, and you know, whenever we get one of us gets a hair across or his ass about one of his teams, like I got to record. What are you doing? You know, a hair across. Where do you think that? Hair across your ass? Yeah, where do you think that comes from? It's one of the great mysteries. Because as an Italian, uh, it's kind of, you know, to say one hair across your ass. Well, we know in the case of Italians, that's probably that's not That's a true. misnomer. That's a misnomer, yeah. I mean, you get several uh, hairs across yeah. the ass. So, <laughs> anyway, and this is just the intro, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, welcome to I Don't Disagree. For those of you just tuning in for the first time, the IDD for our 34 loyal followers. The first 34. Uh, you're going to be gold someday. Gold, Jerry. <clears throat> that, gold. That'll be the name of our book. Yep. The first 34. The first 34. Yep. And we'll so, talk about this year and four months. Yep. Pure bliss. Pure bliss. 200 plus episodes. <laughs> the Donald one and myself have been going strong. Uh, he's just a, a New York <clears throat> kid. Given a chance. You know, I'm a bitter boy. I'm a, I'm a mass hole. Given a chance. Given a chance. You know. Well, I mean, to be truthful, though, I lived in Virginia since I was eight. That's true. You're more of a Virginian. I'm a Virginian. You are a Virginian. But my roots, however. His roots. My roots His still roots. feed me. Yeah, they do. And they should. They still give me life. <clears throat> As they should. Obviously, I am from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, where it all started, where it all went down, where a bunch of guys got pissed off about taxes on tea, and everything hell broke loose, and that was it. So the rest is history. So here we are. Um, segment one, it is Football Friday, so take a wild guess, boys and girls. We are going to start segment one off. And we are going to give you our power <coughs> five or top ten. We were going back and forth about this. Um, we'll do a top ten. That's a, we'll split the difference. We'll do an NFL top ten. Um, <laughs> he's going to give me his, I'll, and I'll give you mine, and we'll, we'll argue um, <coughs> what we do best. And um, I'm reading. I'm what? reading the what? What are you reading? By the way, he does this all the time. I'm sorry. I'm reading. He does this all well, the. This is <laughs> on topic. I'm reading okay. the definition oh, of, the love of Christ. hair across your ass. <laughs> It's good. It's good. It better be. I didn't get the origin, though. But it Go says, with the this ass. expression is akin to woke up on the wrong side of the bed or who pissed in your Cheerios to have a hair across one's ass. So who pissed in your Cheerios came to be, first? 
Apparently. Oh. Huh. Well, no, it's just akin to it. Doesn't oh, okay. say akin. Okay. It's just we don't know what the first one. It just means it's like that. Okay. You know. All right. So it's to synonymous ha- with to have a hair across one's ass means to be overly sensitive to irritation in the right. anal area. Well, not necessarily in the anal area. Well, then why just, would you say ass? Why would you say lip? Or why would you say? Okay, yeah, I guess you're right. I, I think it's Usually the, one who overreacts to a situation because there is already an issue afflicting them. If I'm not looking in the mirror, I don't know who is. I think that definition should have our name <clears> at the end of it, or a picture at least of one of us or both of us. That's literally uh, us yeah, every that, time that, we're on this that's, show. That's this show right there. <laughs> when you see it. us arguing yeah. about something that means nothing, yeah. it's because we're both pissed off we're about both something pissed else. pissed off about something else. And we're just channeling it. And we blame <laughs> it on sports. Because why not? We project it on the Mets yeah. in my instance. Yeah. He projects it on Bill Belichick. Well, when he when he asks for it, <laughs> um, and a lot of times he does. Let's be honest. Uh, so anyway, hey, we're gonna start segment one with our top ten, our first top ten of the year. Uh, you know, and again, yeah, it's so. it's only week four, we're going to week four now. So obviously, this list is subject to change. Uh, but right now, we're gonna we're gonna overreact. I'm gonna tell you who the ten best teams in the NFL, who we think mm. they are right now, and certainly leave your comments. Give us your top ten. You don't gotta agree with us. If you disagree, again, the other show is I don't disagree. So mind your p's and q's. But anyway, if you feel the need to, you know, you know, add, subtract, adjust, if you will, that top ten into your own liking, feel free. Right in the bottom, in the comment section below, which they will be one. So um, you want to go first. Sure. With your top ten? All right, this sure. is after. We're going into week four. Now, <clears throat> you saw what happened last night. Just so you know, before we did real quick. Last night, if you didn't catch it, Detroit went into Green Bay and put a smack down. Ran for 211 yards. 211 yards. Damn. Well, nobody really um, knew what Green Bay was yet. Well, we know what they're not. They're not Detroit. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, so They're not finishing Detroit. Um, they're not, not, I, no, I think it's Detroit's, and they're going to run away with it, I think. Um, but anyway, give us your... Top ten, as you said. Top ten, point. straight up top ten. Straight up NFL top ten right now. Who, who Do are it, your? Does it have then? to be in order? You can put ten in there, and if you want to, you know, or it could be in order. Whatever is okay. Whatever is easier for you. Okay, I'll go in order. Okay, I would go from ten to one. I was going to go from one to ten. It's harder for me to go from ten to one. Okay, well you can go from one to ten. I'm going to go from ten to one. Because I can think of the top teams quicker. I think. Um, Fair enough. So I'm gonna put Dolphins, Niners. That's my top two. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it gets a little tougher after that, but I'm gonna go. Well, yes, it is. I'm gonna go Kansas City, Philly. Yeah. Dolphins, Niners, Kansas City, Philly. Okay. Um. Bills. Okay. Bengals. Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, I actually, hang on a second. I like the Bengals, but I'm going to go Bills Lions. Mm hmm. How many? I'm, how deep am I? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> you went San, Miami, San Fran, <laughs> KC, Philly. That's your four. Yeah. Then what was your fifth team? <laughs> Thanks for listening. Well, you've got three. You might be at seven. You list. You rambled off, but then you switched in order. You switched. Bills were five, I think. I think Bills, Bills were five. five. And then who then I said Bengals, and I stopped. That's where you okay. And you're thinking because I think I want to go Detroit. Mm-hmm. Then I'll go Bengals. Okay. And where am I now? How many? Detroit was six. I'm sorry. Then Bengals go was. I'm gonna go Detroit, Dallas, Bengals. So that's eight. So you have two left. Hmm. Not that easy. Never is. Um, I'll go Baltimore nine. Okay. I think I'm going to say, hmm, it's tough between the Jags and the Rams. Well, I'm going to go Jags 10 because they have not played. They've underachieved. Yeah, they've underachieved. I think it's fair to say they've underachieved. I think they could be better. So we'll put Jags at 10. All right, that's your 10. Sorry, that was a struggle. 
Well, it's the first one. This yeah. gets easier. Um, how do you? How does it sound? Oh uh, well, we'll compare it with mine. Okay. Uh, and we'll go from there. Um, uh, number one for me is the 49ers. Um, number two currently would be the Miami Dolphins. So we're just going to flip flop the top there. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, I'm going to have to go with Philadelphia, given their three and zero. Casey lost That's at fair. home to Detroit. Um, and then, you know, from there, I'd say number four right now to me, uh, given the fact that, that they did go into to Casey and win is Detroit. Detroit's three and one. Um, so I would have San Fran, Miami, Philly, Detroit is my top four. Um, I would have KC number five. Um, I would have probably uh, Seattle at six. Uh, Buffalo seven. I'm sorry. Take 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 both of them out. I'm sorry. No no no. no. Go back to who did I have at six? I had um, KC at six. Uh, seven to me is the Cleveland Browns. Oh, I forgot about the um, Browns. I would say Cleveland at seven. Uh, then I would go um, Buffalo, and then Seattle would be nine, and then ten for me would be the Dallas Cowboys. Um, a lot of that is based on the teams that beat those teams. Uh, and again, Buffalo's lucky to be there, given they lost to the Jets, who didn't have Aaron Rodgers when they did it. Um, and that, I still can't wrap my head around how that happened. Um, but the Jets' defense is elite. Um, they, they've proven that. Uh, but they, again, Dallas ran over them because the quarterback had three turnovers, and they ran the ball 16 times, which is embarrassing when you have two running backs like that. You know you have to keep that guy from throwing. So anyway, that's my top ten. Um, I don't think Jacksonville is worthy of the top ten yet. They've lost to teams that that that. that to you know, me, the Browns should be in there. The Browns. I'm, I, I miss would, the Browns. I would say the Browns. The rest of it, I, I again, in, in the order, can you can you can mess I actually, with the I would I would put the I mean, Browns ahead of the Bengals, Ravens, and Jack. So like, yeah. mine would. Yeah, turn I didn't have the to, Bengals in there at all. Mine would turn to Dolphins, Niners, Kansas City, Philly, Bills, Detroit, Dallas, yeah. Browns, um, Bengals, Ravens. Okay. I don't think the Ravens are a top ten team either right now. Uh, they, just, they, lost, they lost at home to the Colts with a backup quarterback. I, you're not a top ten team if you're losing uh. at home like that. But that's your again. That's your team. That's your team. Oh, you're less rather. So that, again, that's week. This is week three. Obviously, we're heading to week four. Um, so that's subject to change. I would say also about this top ten list <coughs> that you know we, we talked. We mentioned Jacksonville. I mean, you um, put Dallas top ten. They lost I, to Josh Dobbs. I put them at ten. Okay, but they're. That's they lost. I put nine teams in front of them on yeah, the road. They at least, lost though. their back. Yeah, but at least it was on the road. It wasn't at home. Okay. Well, it's, you should not lose at home to a backup quarterback on the road at Arizona. On the road, you it's can full of Dallas fans. It's still a road game. No, it wasn't. How many? How many uh, Colts fans were in Jacksonville last Sunday? Hmm? Exactly. No. <laughs> okay. Um, what? I'm sorry. Uh, in Baltimore, how many Colts fans were in Baltimore? Or Jacksonville. Who beat Jacksonville? Houston went in and beat Jacksonville. Houston didn't have a win when it beat Jacksonville. They were no, two. you said you can't lose to a backup quarterback at home and be top ten. You didn't say at home. Yes, it is at home. It's only at home. They, they're ten. There are nine teams better than them right now. You have them higher than that. Yeah, I think they're higher than that. They're not. They're not because the are. because the two teams they beat. <laughs> okay. You don't think very highly of. Well, if we so, talk so, about what teams you beat, I mean, well, then we really have to alter this. Not I really. Mean, the Dolphins beat Detroit. I'm mean, not Detroit. Denver. They drubbed Denver. Right, but it's Denver. They they historically <laughs> drubbed Denver. <laughs> Denver is historically bad with a historically arrogant coach. Denver. There's only this is the third time, fourth time it's ever happened in the 103 year history of the league. Yeah. They're, they're, but they beat Denver. Well, if you beat somebody that Who bad... Who else did the Dolphins beat? The Patriots, up in New England. Patriots look like trash. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They lost. They should have beat Philly, and you know it. I know, but they, they can't. Didn't. Because they can't get out of their own way. They had the... If that they guy the got same, the second... They, they should have beat the Dolphins, the, too, and they and they freaking... The point is that the Patriots are up and coming. And we're going to get into the pick segment in segment two, and you, I got, I got a, bomb, a bomb to drop on you. But the bottom wow. line is we'll talk about it in segment two. Why don't we finish segment one first? We're talking about well, the top ten right now. That. that wouldn't be a bomb for me. I'm not, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Let's go to segment yes, one. Yes, I do. 
They know. I, I can guess it right now. We're Pats, not gonna, Pats are going to be the Cowboys. We're not, we'll talk about it. <laughs> was, that, was that it? Nope. Yes, it was. Want to bet? You won't even admit it. It wasn't it. It was it. I guessed it. ESP. He didn't guess nothing. N. He didn't guess nothing because I didn't admit to anything either. Uh, anyway, the bottom line is the Cowboys are 10 because they lost on the road with a backup quarterback. They should, If they had won that game, they'd be in the top five. Miami isn't – look, at my, a tough play. Everyone agrees that in Philadelphia barely escaped New England. Tough place to play in New England. A tough place to play. It is. When Dow, Three years ago, Dallas went in there and they played – it took Dallas overtime to beat that team with a rookie quarterback. New England is a tough place to play. It always it has been for the past twenty something years, and you know why. But the bottom line is Bill that's Belichick not an easy that's not easy. an easy that's not an easy win. So you give Miami credit yeah. for that one, not take it away from the oh the Pets stink. I, okay, I was being an asshole with that, but they did beat Denver. This I know the Pats don't stink. Being a whole ass, actually, to be, to be honest. But I, the the point is, <laughs> what's worse, being the whole of an ass or a whole no ass? the whole ass, the whole and the two cheeks included. But then at least you're put together. If you're just the hole, like you're an asshole. But the whole glass could be frightening. The hole itself is frightening. Imagine those two cheeks. <laughs> What's frightening about that a butt? It depends on whose butt it is. Huh. It shouldn't be frightening. It's just a piece of the anatomy. Okay. Nothing well. to be scared about. Anyway. <laughs> so oh, anyway. Um, this was a great segment. This was a great, was a great segment. Well, we were just arguing about who should, the, 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 because of the, the, the strength or the, the, the strength of the, of the win. Yeah. I mean... You know, I, I mean, would Philly say hasn't beat KC went down to Jacksonville. Philly won. only beat. Well, New Philly England. beat New England, and they beat. Hold <laughs> on a minute. No, I'm they. Kidding. I was kidding. They went into Tampa and won. Tampa was two and zero when they beat them. They were two and zero. Come on. On the road. Come on. They beat them, and they beat them convincingly. That's a solid win, is it not? I, I mean, I, Philly to me is legit. You don't. You Philly's are, legit from last year. They, they're proven, and they have new players. <laughs> So Excuse they're me. still finding. They have not played anywhere near their best. By the way, this segment brought to you by Doctor Pepper. Could I have one of those? By the way, you, yeah. Um, I already finished my. I figured you did. Um, yeah. um, so um, no, but Philly, Philly's legit, and they're nowhere near playing the best football they're going to play. And I don't think the Patriots are either. <laughs> so uh, you better hope not. Oh, they're going to get better. The, well, the, the Patriot they, teams if, historically. If they don't, they're going to finish last. In the Patriot league. teams well, no, historically sorry. get better as the year goes on. The, the the one-off was last year because the, the you know dumb and dumb were running the offense, so that was the one-off. You better hope. I'm not hoping for anything. It's gonna, barring injury, it's going to happen. Okay. Um, so anyway, but look, I I agree otherwise with, Joel's going to. I agree with most of your top ten. I'm just saying that some of the I put some of these teams based on some of the teams that they beat. In the case of Detroit yeah. beating, going into no, no, that was fair what, to put I mean, Detroit. Yeah, and I'm saying I, I, dro- I dropped Dallas that. to ten because they lost that game. I still think Dallas is a top ten team, but you can't lose a game like that. You're right. My to me thing, the only thing worse than losing on the road would have been if they did it at home. Because teams, teams but, are 10 points better on the road so in the NFL. Here's they, my, they generally here's are. my only argument. I don't think the Cowboys are. Because it's like Jerry... You think the Cowboys are better, 10 points better on the road? Jerry World? No. Have you looked at their record the past three, four years at home? No. They're one of the best home records in the NFL. Okay. They are. All right. Well, I'm saying win percentage. Win by 10, though? No, I don't know what the average margin of victory is. I just know that at There's, home. That's what you were saying. I'm saying on average. It doesn't mean they, they as an, that individual team is, but I'm saying on average NFL teams are generally I don't know, like, If I'm the Giants, I'd rather play them in Dallas because it feels like at home the crowd turns on them. <laughs> crowd turns on the Giants, you know what I mean? And Jerry Jerry's world is like. It's a tourist attraction. It doesn't have the same would, home field advantage as well, New England or Kansas City. I would say given that that fan base hasn't won a Super Bowl in 28 years, they're starving for one at this point. And the owner's you know, got one foot in the grave and on a banana peel. Um, actually, no, he doesn't. The pr- pricks live forever. Jerry Jones will live to 100. Dude, in um, Arizona, but, in Arizona, the reason I said that thing about Arizona, well, when the Giants were down 28-7, to seven, oh, but, their fans – Caused a fucking false start on the Cardinals. That's how loud the Giants fans were in Arizona. At the end of that game, the Giants fans caused two false starts or illegal motions. Well, or let's something. be clear about something. And, and, and if we're going to. Arizona. Again, home field is I dropped not. Dallas to 10, but we, if you look at Arizona's first two games, Arizona's no pushover. They played tough, yeah. They did. They should have won in Washington, probably. They were ahead in the They could have won all three games. Yeah. And, and the coach is from Philly. He was a defensive coordinator last year. They listen. 
they're not going to be a slouch. We thought they were going to be a doormat. They're doing this with a backup quarterback no one's yeah. ever heard of. So, and I think they're going to win again if they play. If they run the ball like that, they're going to be in every game they play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and Dallas is one of the elite defenses in the league on paper. Everybody seems to agree on that. But see, so, the other Philly coordinator has the Colts playing pretty good. They're two and one. They're the other surprise, right? But you you talked about Baltimore losing to them like that's that's why worse that's what, than the Arizona why, because he was a backup quarterback too, and they were at home. Minshew's better than Dobbs, but Baltimore was at home. Okay, you shouldn't lose at home to a. It's a rainy home game. Minshew's better Who's than Who's the best Dallas? player on that field? Lamar Jackson. By, and it's by far. It's not even close. You shouldn't lose that game at all. Lamar by himself should be. Well, who's the best player on, on the field when Dallas plays Arizona? Michael Who's, Parsons. I don't know. That running back for Arizona is pretty nasty. Connor? He's pretty nasty, dude. Oh, God. He's a freaking... No. He's good. He's not, not as good as Michael Parsons. Parsons. No, but he's good. Okay, but he's very good, actually. Michael Parsons, there's no way you get ran over like Micah that. Micah Parsons doesn't touch the ball, though. He plays defense. No, you're right. He should He's not get run over like that. It's supposed to be LT. I haven't seen LT get run over like that too much. No, no. All right, so um, look, there, there, are far, there, there aren't many perfect teams. No. Um, I don't zero, think it, I'd say. I don't think it, yeah. The, even the teams that are undefeated aren't perfect. Um, and they can be beaten. Philly could have easily lost to New England. They should have lost. If New England outgained Philly by 150 yards. They should have lost that game. Okay, Philly's See, I so, think y'all had a better chance to beat Philly than you did the Dolphins. Uh, I, I don't agree with that because our best weapon was taken off the field for three quarters. And he wasn't injured, America. The egomaniac. Weapon, how many catches does he have this year? He has eight. Well, remember, he didn't, that game, he basically missed the whole game because Dickhead took him out. But he's not To make even, a point, not, not which you didn't agree much. with either. No, I totally agree <laughs> I mean, with your assessment. But... To act like Demario Douglas coming off the field is losing Tariq Hill is a little much. I didn't compare him to Tariq Hill. I All I said you... was he was the Pets the Pats best weapon. And I still think he is. And that, by the way, that's not though. coming no, it's not. It's coming from his defense, which by the way, his defense is ranked fifth in the league. Okay. You got Hunter Henry, you have Ramondre Stevenson. The Pats defense says you this have... kid can't be guarded. <laughs> That was the quote by multiple okay. defensive well, backs. Maybe they're, Nobody said Hunter Henry could be guarded. Maybe they're falling in love with him a little bit and talking him up. All well, right? if, he, if you get toasted by a guy for a month straight, you might have no choice but to fall in love okay. with him. Okay, if he was that good and they're not playing him, Bill, have big issues. This is the same guy that hired Matt Patricia and Joe Judge. Why are you surprised by this? I'm not surprised by okay, it. Okay, then, so don't tell me it's not possible when this dickhead did what he did last year. Well, that's And, well, and but ran that, submarine his quarterback. Okay, so this is where I have a problem. What? Okay, because... You're telling me Bill is currently coaching like that, and yet this team is going to get better? No, they're not. I assume Bill's going to get better. The same fucking guy who hired Joe Judge There's, and Patty Matt Patricia. You know why? Because that's what we call bottom of the barrel. <laughs> There's but nowhere yeah, to go but, but up. <laughs> No, but, but now he's playing against a team like Miami, he, pulling his best weapon off the field. To prove a point. If you turn the ball over, I, look, at, and I get his point. But, but you know, last game, how many catches did DeMario Douglas have? He had one catch and one rush. Was it? I'm, listen, we've said this. So if he was in the game against you got to you got you got to make him part of the offense. Not he's the fifth option. All right, Bill O'Brien, step the fuck up. Bill, both of them, get the kid the fucking ball. Hi, here's my problem with Belichick. If he knows his defense is elite, and he knows his defense is elite, and you're watching this kid torch them, regardless of what you do coverage wise, how is he not in your game plan every week? When your defense, when that same defense held the cheetah to five catches and forty yards. Think about that, America. It's, it's almost like a... Think about that, America. It's almost okay? like looking at half the game like it doesn't mean anything. Bill like, Belichick like thinks it's about offense, him. Like, That's his problem, his ego. Just like Dion. His problem is his ego. He always takes his ego over the team. Oh, you're not going to do that on my team. You're going to say... The kid's a rookie. He made a mistake. You want to take him out for a series or two? Okay, but the, the whole fucking game and a game you need? is like Dion. No, dion has got an ego problem. You don't think he doesn't? I mean, Go he, find that video of what we were talking about last time and tell me he doesn't have an ego problem. He does. Which one? The one that we didn't that we were well, arguing beat about. Beat me now? Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that Deion Sanders is very egotistical. And look, I'm not saying... You, first of all, to be as good as he was, you have to have an ego like that. Right. And it, but you have to put it in check. And when you're the head coach, it cannot come before but you. for team. the most part, I feel like and this Deion, Deion has used it the right way. 
He's really used it to get. I've you know, agreed with over 90% of things he's done. There's only been one thing that he did that I didn't agree with, okay, for the record. Mm -hmm. And I'm pulling for him tomorrow, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> but uh, the bottom line is that's going to be a big day. But the thing is, Belichick's ego is hurting this team, and it's got to stop. Okay, it's got to stop because he's, he's going to submarine them if he doesn't. Okay, well, and I and I get him sending a message. Look, you can't turn the ball over. But it's important. They've they've lost two games because of turnovers. I get why he did it, but not for the whole game. Not at all. Not, not maybe not. Talk even to all. him on the sideline. Do something. Go over there, shake him, and say, "Look, dude, we need you to." Be. That's that's where you pull a guy aside and say, "In order for us to get where we're going, we need you to take to, care of the football. Right, to take care of the football <laughs> and play to your potential." Yeah. And, and then you give that guy you, a boost instead you, of You know what he did? Down. You know what Bill did? He sat him on the bench, never said a word to him, told the office coordinator, he's, don't, don't take him out of the game plan. He's just going to shag punts the rest of the game. He never talked to him during the game. I, I, did we explain what happened? Uh, if you saw the Miami New England game, it was in the first quarter. Pats were going in. They were inside the 30. They were driving. They looked really good to take a 7-3 lead. This kid, Demario Douglas, we call him Pop, Rookie sensation, okay, gets the ball on inside route, starts to break outside. A guy hits him from, comes from behind, strips the ball out. Miami recovers, goes in, takes it down the field, and scores 14 points away. Belichick takes this kid, who's a rookie, out of the game. Oh, we got him. And, keep, and takes him out for the rest of the game. That is what happened. Didn't talk to him. Didn't they just had to make his point. Had to make his point. Like <laughs> the Super Bowl. When you benched your number one corner, and then you turn Nick Foles into a household name. By the way, where's, where is Nick Foles nowadays? Uh, broken collarbone last year from Tavon Thibodeau. And I don't think he's on the team this year. How many Pro Bowls has he made since that Super Bowl? <laughs> I'm going to go with zero, America. Nick zero. Balls. Big D, Nick. Bill as, Belichick's as ego Philly, cost so the Pats a Super Bowl and turned that guy into a, yeah. So, Big anyway. Big D, Nick. That, okay, so can I just yeah. explain something? Please. I'm a little frustrated with the Pats because I believed in y'all. And in these first... Three, over. I know, I know, I know. But you know... I have a hair across my ass. I'm overreacting. I'm a little several, sensitive. Several. Okay. <laughs> several hairs across the ass. Um, and by the way, he's not wrong. Because he I can be negative at times, but he's not wrong. <laughs> but look, so I went into this season thinking that it would go Jets, Pats, um, Bills, Dolphins. Which, by the way, except for the Jets, might still happen. The Jets are going to be in last place. You, you really think the Pats can win the division? I still do. There's 14 Dude. games to go. They haven't they haven't played anywhere near what they're capable of on offense. And they I know will get, they just have such a tough schedule. They will get better. The schedule's going to get easier. This is the toughest part of their Not schedule. Much. Listen, if Philly's the top of the line in the NFC and they had the ball on their 12 yard line, okay, after turning the ball over twice in a rainstorm, okay, I was with, impressed with by that with loss. no number one receiver and no running game. They were missing. Well, they were missing they three offensive they linemen that day. Them, they spotted they spot them, 16 them 16 points. <laughs> That's what impressed me. I'm saying I saw them go down 16. They are and not I was like they're done. Listen, and then I look back and I was like 16. Yeah. 14. We will get into this in segment two when we go to our picks. But I will say this. And, and look, the problem with the, here's the problem with the Giants. We're, we're neglecting his team. And I don't want to neglect his team. They have talent on offense. Their front seven on defense is a problem. It's atrocious. It's atrocious. And that if they don't make the playoffs, that will be why. Um, and their offensive line is Yeah, they've got, to, they've got to address the they, interior or at least you be You cannot be soft in the trenches. No, and not in this league. And be for real. Not in this league. You, can't you, you might be able to beat so. somebody like Minnesota, mm -hmm. like you did last year. And I wanted to believe that the Giants were better than they were. And everybody talked now, about what a great coach Brian Dable is. And week after week, you see this vanilla, pathetic offense. That is a problem. You see a defense that can't touch the quarterback. Yep. And it's like, fuck, guys. Yeah. We're going to get into this I more to be good. in segment two, but I will say this in his defense. And he needs to, remember, he has, he needs to take this into consideration. Two of their first three opponents were the 49ers and the Cowboys. I do need to take that into account. And that's murderous row. That's murderers row. I, I I would be hard pressed to find a team, maybe KC, maybe Philly. There's a couple teams that could split that. I don't know if there's any team in this in this in this league that's sweeping those two in, in, in back to back weeks. That's sweeping them. Or in two out of three. I don't see it happening. Maybe Philly. If they got them both at home. If they go on the mm -hmm. road, they're losing to one of them. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. And they got and what, um, the, the Giants had one on one on one at home. And one on the road. And one on the road yeah. after, on a four-day week. And they didn't have Saquon. On a four-day week. But no didn't have their best weapon. Didn't have their left tackle. And in the third quarter, what was the score? Didn't have their left tackle. And what was the score in the middle of the third quarter? I don't even remember. 17 to 10. 
and they ran out of steam. Right. But they were that was a game for two and a half quarters, and they were undermanned. So I listen. They they have potential, but he's right, hundred percent right. The interior line's got to be addressed. You got to find a way to generate a pass rush on offense, on defense rather. And on offense, you got to start putting in those. We'll talk about them in segment two. Those favorite plays that, you, that set Danny Dimes up for success because they're not doing that in terms of a passing game. He's also not running enough. Run, put that in there. Yeah. He's got to have plays like that. I mean, dude, they got more weapons now. San Francisco so, talks so much shit after the game. Did you hear all that stuff? Yeah, I did. They trashed him. I did. They talked about how he's not worth his contract. Yeah. It's they were surprised that yeah. there was no tell you run what, pass option. Tell you what, tell you what, for has. We'll swap him and Purdy, and then we'll see what who, who does what. Yeah, you put, exactly. You put, you put him with that web offense, and he's a fucking he's an MVP candidate. And the line, I, yeah. and the line, and the line too. That yeah. is so important when you see a young quarterback flourish. Yeah. He usually has a line and somewhat a, and of a, a number one, a true number one <clears throat> receiver. Right. And if you look at Tua Tagovailoa three years ago, and then what's happened since he got those two guys, that's no fucking fluke. Same thing with Josh Allen when he got Diggs in Buffalo. I can go around the fucking world with this, okay, and prove my point. The fucking the quarterback in Philly two years ago, they were wondering if he was the right guy. Then they fucking draft the fucking Heisman Trophy winner from fucking Alabama, and the very next year they get AJ Brown. They traded for AJ. They traded for AJ Brown. Also, he gets two ones, and now look at him. He's an MVP. And they candidate. have the best offensive line in the league. Yep. Or, or at least last year it was. I'm saying now Detroit might. And look at Detroit. <laughs> and they haven't got their Jared deep. Goff yeah. looks great. Yeah, well, wow. because he's upright. He's upright, and they run the ball. So anyway, that's going to do it for segment one. Segment two, we are going to do our pick segment, America, week four. Thirty-one minutes without a timer. Without a timer. Without a timer. Not too bad. Not too bad for our first Facebook appearance. Um, segment two, the pick segment is coming up. He's got a three-game lead on me, America. I got to do something about this. Anyway, grab. Hey, it is football Friday. Grab a frothle. Find a few friends. Do a little. You know what? And we will see you on the other side.